So I want to show you how to install the Web Essentials in channels, in, in as how we call it, the critical areas. You have them on every company van or a standard personal car. Every car has a sort of uh, critical areas. The technique that I show you works on every, every car, but it works on, with every material too. In fact, it works perfect. So with this, you never have any problems at all with it popping out of the, of, of, the, of, of the recesses. Let me show how it works. This is one of those, those recesses. After, after cleaning, we know that this is always the problem that you have that the vinyl kept popping out, right? If we stretch it in here, we understand that if you stretch, your layer of adhesive will be thinner too. So that's strange actually, because if it's thinner, the tech, the power is more or less. But that's actually the most critical place for the vinyl to stay or to hold in place. So we can change that. We can, we can change that. And that's what I, what I want to show you, to you guys. Let me clean it first. So what I do, I have standard cloth. I use my surface cleaner over here. Make this wet. And my place here too. So I only do a small piece on this panel just for you guys to show how it works. So, if I clean this, so this is, this is clean. What I will do is show you a little bit how it works. So I will, I will just draw over here. If you have a channel like this, and I will put my material on, like this, everyone will to push it in here which mean this, they will heat up this and if they press it down, you will stretch the material over here. So this is the most critical area, right? So let's do it on a different way. And I will show you here now how it works. So imagine that I will do, put this on. This is the way, I will, can put the, this is the, my stretch part. And that's what I want to eliminate. Okay, I have a product with me that I mentioned before, it's the adhesive activator. This is the best way to work. If you use this, you don't have any problems because it connects perfectly on water-based paint. So I do just one drop, as you can see here, and I make one shot only on the edge, and that's it. So now I need to let it dry for 15 minutes. So, it's done. So, this, this product will not harm any surface. It stays there and you don't have any problems. Even if, if I don't wash this off or I don't apply material with the, with the next rain or washing, it's gone. So, it don't harm anything. Okay, so now I will install the material. And I will show you how to do it. You can do it again, you can do it with every material if you have your if you have your, 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 your digital print material, computer cut material, it's just a technique that works on the best way. This is actually a technique that we used, that we developed, that SOP developed, and it's basically based on the idea about vinyl. So what I'm doing here is I install my film as a lot of materials. And to be honest, this technique even works with polymeric material. We tried, but of course we cannot say that. So as you see here, this is on. So of course I don't wrap it in detail because that's it's not necessary. It's only this is the one that I'm talking about, right? So I put my glove. Put on my soft glove. I like this. I like these gloves because it's very smooth. It's white. I can see when it's clean. Some people, some wrappers, cut off these 
two pieces so they have the good feeling with their fingers because they're using normally this one or these places to, to wrap or these fingers. So they cut off this one. Okay. As you can see here, now there's tension. What I'm doing is, and here I can show it here perfectly, where are the most people stretch the material? It's here. So they make this hot. and then they push it in, so it will stretch over here. But that's not what we said. We said, stretch it over here. If we stretch it here, this one will stretch only, and this one is just keep in its place. I leave this cold, but I make it hot over here. So my heat gun goes like this, and it, it heat up this one, so this one will stretch. That's really cool. So. Which means the whole vinyl is relaxed in this area. And we try that with the polymeric calendar film, it's, it still stays, it stays there. You cannot do that, of course, because you don't get any warranty from the factory, but it works. I will demonstrate two, two versions. This is the, call it the old way. The old way, this is the new way. So, let's start with the old way. What everyone is normally learning is this. Heat up, the, heat up the recesses, what I'm doing now. I make this hot, the whole critical area, as I showed you over here. That's what I'm doing, because that's what everyone is doing. So little by little, it goes down, but of course it's stretching too, over there. It's stretching on the edge, in the, exactly in the recess. Get it done. So, this is the way how normally it's doing, right? Just do it fast, this is the way. So, there's a lot of tension. The risk that you can see it is, is big because it's so much stretch. What I'm doing here, so this is the old way. So now you need to post heat it, of course. Uh, this material, you need to post heat till 100 degrees Celsius, between 100 and 110. That's what you need to do, what you have to do. Okay, this way, this is the new way, what I'll show you. We, ex we, we, we told you guys that I don't want the heat here in, the, in my channel. I want my heat here. So what I'm doing now... Wait a second. Let me play with it a little bit. Don't make it too warm. It depends on the color too. But now what I'm doing, you see, and I press it down here. So I make it hot only in the edge. I press it down on the edge and I make it hot on the flat surface. It goes more down and down now. And I can use my squeegee too to use to do it like this. Just only the flat piece. It's a way that you need to play with it, of course. You have to play with it. So what I'm doing, if this is my channel or my recess, my vinyl goes like this, right? So what we do is heat up this and press this down. So if you do that, the material will stretch over here. So you go that side. So this one will be thinner. So your adhesive will be thinner too. We can avoid that too heat up a different place. So this is my channel again. This is my material. Now we heat it up here. So if you heat this up, you can press this down and this one here will stretch. So it cannot never lift up. What is the final result actually? It is, this is my channel again. And if I do it on the new way, so call it this is the old way, this is the new way, then, then we will see that the vinyl is going like this. Oh, wait a second, we'll make it heavier a little bit. Oh. It goes like this, and here is stretched. So there is no problem of lifting off here, because there is no tension. There's no stress in the material, it's here. 
and it never can lift it off like this. Maybe it will be go back like that, but it's not possible because this is completely 100% free of tension. So if I install here too, I will make it hot here. The hot areas are here. Are here. And my material goes down, so I will heat up with the heat gun like this, so my airflow goes that way, and I can press it firmly here, so my material will stretch out. That's the way. That's the way that you have no any tension or or or, or, or risky situation here in, in, in this recess. That's the way how to do it.